How can the Ripple case be decided over just a few words? How is MoneyGram going to help Ripple expand? And why do BitBoy and John Deaton think XRP is going to win? Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out. But first, we are giving away 25 XRP at the end of the month to one random subscriber to start on their XRP journey. All you need to do is to like the video, subscribe and comment your thoughts on XRP in the comment section. Welcome back XRP Army. Let's grow the XRP Lab community by pressing the like button and subscribing to this channel to stay updated at all times. After 16 months of intense pre-trial litigation, countless hours in court, and the review of over 600,000 documents by both sides, the case that is being billed as the cryptocurrency trial of the century could all come down to one speech given by a senior official of the Securities and Exchange Commission four years ago. Of course, I am referring to the lawsuit that the Security and Exchange Commission filed against the payment settlement business Ripple in the latter half of the year 2020. The Securities and Exchange Commission has argued, without providing any further explanation, that the release of the documents would violate the attorney-client privilege. This is due to the fact that Hinman was technically a client of the Commission as well as an official at the time that he made his public statements. According to the Securities and Exchange Commission, Ripple broke securities regulations when it neglected to register with the agency sales of its native cryptocurrency token, XRP. These sales helped fund the Ripple platform and made it easier for users to make payments using the Ripple network. The Commission primary argument is that Ripple and its top executives were selling XRP in violation of the law and without first registering it as a security with the appropriate authorities. The Commission is asking for billions of dollars in damages. Ripple legal team which includes high-powered and expensive legal minds like Mary Jo White, a former chair of the Securities and Exchange Commission and current United States Attorney for the Southern District of California, argues that the company sales of XRP were in accordance with the law and are not materially distinguishable from the sales of the digital coin Ether made by the operators of the Ethereum blockchain. Officials from the Security and Exchange Commission had previously given the go-ahead for the selling of Ether despite the fact that the digital coin was not registered with the government. Regarding this John Deaton said, if the judge accepts the Security and Exchange Commission argument that every single draft, document, email, and comment made about the Hinman speech, the last year of litigation including her rulings are meaningless. But if the communications are made public, this could show how Ripple was unfairly singled out, and the Security and Exchange Commission may be obliged to settle with Ripple on terms that are advantageous to Ripple. What do you think? Will the judge release the emails of Hinman? Also, MoneyGram has introduced a worldwide on and off ramp solution for digital wallets. The goal of this service is to expand the utility of digital assets by establishing a connection between fiat currency and cryptocurrency. The Stellar Development Foundation, which was established by Jed McCaleb to support the development and growth of Stellar, an open source public blockchain that allows money to be tokenized and transferred globally and is a competitor to XRP, is the blockchain expert that is partnering with the peer to peer payments giant. MoneyGram. The first wave of users can now access the product that resulted from the partnership between MoneyGram and the Stellar Development Foundation, which was announced in October 2021. This product is now available in a number of key remittance markets, including Canada, Kenya, the Philippines, and the United States. The global cash-out functionality is expected to be available by the end of June 2022. The Stellar blockchain and digital wallets provided by Stellar are the driving forces behind the worldwide on and off ramp service for digital wallets. Other driving forces include the retail agent network of MoneyGram and USD Coin. The service allows users of cash access to the world of cryptocurrencies through any partner MoneyGram facility. This is a huge step towards bridging the gap between actual currencies and digital currencies. The goal of the solution is to expand financial inclusion by fostering fluidity between fiat currency and cryptocurrencies, so allowing more individuals to participate in and profit from the digital economy. During the first year of the service availability, MoneyGram will not charge a fee for using it. Alex Holmes, chairman at MoneyGram, commented, We are thrilled to work alongside the Stellar Development Foundation on this important initiative to bring more opportunities to consumers around the world by making the worlds of crypto and local fiat currency compatible. It is especially exciting to launch this service ahead of schedule due to the strong collaboration of our technology teams, and we look forward to further collaboration with Stellar Development Foundation as we work on uncovering new ways to utilize the blockchain to further streamline cross-border payments.
the settlement procedure, which will take place in near real time and make use of USDC to accelerate the collection of cash, is where the innovation that lies behind the global on and off ramp service can be found. Users of digital wallets do not need to have a bank account or credit card in order to make the transition from cash to cryptocurrencies and back to cash again. Users now have the opportunity to access a MoneyGram facility in order to either load their digital wallets in order to gain access to the digital economy or cash out their digital currencies in order to boost the value of their holdings. By the end of June, MoneyGram will extend access to the cash-in service into seven additional countries. At that time, the cash-out feature will also be available internationally, where it is authorized by law. Now the important news of the week is a tweet from John Deaton. He said that, People ask why would Ripple settle at this point? If it receives clarity in the U.S. and Ripple and institutions can freely borrow, sell, and transfer XRP with no chance of an appeal, the cloud is gone forever. The Security and Exchange Commission can appeal a loss on summary judgment claiming the judge erred. What does he mean by that? Tell us in the comments before we go into more detail. So, John Deaton is discussing the question of why Ripple might ever settle. We have been telling you that a settlement would be reached, and John Deaton appears to share this opinion. In this tweet, he suggests that a settlement would be a piece of cake for Ripple and that it would be a slam dunk. If you have been following the developments in this case, you are probably aware that rumors circulated late last year suggesting that Ripple rejected a settlement offer made by the Security and Exchange Commission. They did not accept it and stated that they are certain that the Ripple team would emerge victorious from this trial. If they had accepted the offer, then XRP would have been able to participate in the bull run that occurred in 2021 and would have easily achieved the $10 mark. And now, if you look at tweets from James Filan and other experts, they predict that this lawsuit is definitely going to end around January or March of the next year at the earliest. BitBoy stated in his most recent video that it appears that this is no longer going to result in a settlement. He added that this is the case unless something extraordinary takes place over the next couple of months. BitBoy believes that Ripple would not have turned down the settlement offer if they did not have anything else up their sleeve in order to justify their decision. This was made quite clear in the most recent hearing, in which Judge Netburn thrashed the Security and Exchange Commission legal team in regard to the Hinman issue. Also, he says that this information is from a guy who he really trusts. Make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Kindly note that the prices of cryptocurrencies frequently change, so by the time you watch this video, it might have changed to a whole new value. The information provided in this video does not constitute investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, or any other sort of advice, and you should not treat any of the content as such. The content in this video is for educational purposes only and hence should not be considered financial advice. Do conduct your due diligence and consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions.